Welcome back to the Spoonie and Caregiver Life Podcast with me, your host, Jordan Banderas. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes of, of my podcast. And let's go ahead and get into today's episode. So, on today's episode, I have a very special guest who turns out to be my wife. As many of you guys might know, her name is Katie. And we're going to answer some of the questions that you guys have sent about what it's like to be someone facing chronic illnesses. But this is how we're going to do it though. So I'm going to ask her the questions and she's going to give her perspective or her answer and I'm not going to interrupt her or anything like that. And then at the end, when we're done with the questions, I'll give my two cents, okay? So let's start with the first question. What is the hardest part of your life right now? Well, first, I'll tell you that my name is Katie Banderas, and I'm Jordan's wife, and we've been married for seven years. Um, we just had our anniversary, so um, I'm glad to be here today. Um, so the hardest part of my life right now is I suffer from severe depression and severe anxiety, and um almost to where i can't leave the house and um i actually get tremors from my anxiety so that's really some of the hardest parts of my life right now and also feeling alone all the time so that would be the hardest part that i'm going through okay now next question how do you react when people say you look fine to me this question makes me so angry um when people say you look fine when you are sick with hashimoto's when you're sick with anything um when your back hurts when you have leg pain when you can barely stand when you have lupus when you have fibromyalgia anything um and somebody says to you oh you look good today um they have no idea that you took all of your energy out um, to do your best to look the part of what it looks like on Instagram to take a picture um, so that you look like you fit in and then it takes you three days to recover. Now the next question is how can someone help a person that is going through something similar? If you want to help someone listen 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 don't just talk listen the next question is what helps you to keep going during the hard times i have my husband i have my service dogs um one of them is terrible um he's for free if anyone wants him by the way um just kidding <laughs> he's jordan's dog um and then obviously i have my family and i have my friends um but every day i suffer with wanting to commit suicide and that's been for five years and people don't even know that about me so that's something that i keep very very close to me and uh it's very very difficult to deal with Next question. When you first became ill, did you think it will take this long to find good care? I could get on a soapbox about finding a good doctor in this town, um, in the city, in the state. Um, but I, oh, it just, it's, terrible to even find a doctor that even cares these days um so i finally have a good care team but um it's taken me almost five years to do that but no i never thought that it would take that long next question how do you handle doctors that won't listen to you i have to take someone to every doctor's appointments with me um because I have such bad brain fog that um, it's very hard for me to keep track of everything. But at this point, um, 
I figure the doctors work for me and they are being paid by my insurance, which I pay for. And so I have no problem talking back to a doctor and giving them my two cents back and telling them that they owe me the 30 minute consultation. Um, so that's something that I've definitely learned to stand up for myself for. I do want to say something about that. Like that is so true. When she says that to the doctors, the doctors just stare, stare at her and be like, Oh, wow. Not a nice person, but I'm like, yeah, yeah, do it. I'm, I'm on the background, like cheering her on and be like, yes, yes, yes. But anyway, next question. Do you think that you could have gotten better without a support system? I wouldn't be here today without my husband, without my mom, without my dad, um, without my family. Um, I wouldn't be alive without my doctor, um, definitely my psychiatrist. Um, no. And the final question, how do you deal with the stairs? People that stare at other people who have to walk with a cane or sit in a wheelchair or use a jazzy chair at the store, I want to tell you to look the other way. It is so embarrassing for us to have to do that. And I will tell you how many days I have walked in pain because I don't want to use a cane or have to ride in a wheelchair or use a jazzy chair because my body hurts so bad. And um, it is something that you should really be conscious of because it's very, very hurtful. And you don't even realize that you're doing it sometimes, but you really just need to be more mindful that there's a really a person behind there. And that is so true. There's always a person behind that stare. Remember that. So that's all, all the questions that we have. And like I said, I'm going to give my two cents right now. Now, as you guys know, I'm Katie's caregiver. So I have seen everything that she has gone through from the beginning. We are going through it together because like she also mentioned, we are a team. I am part of her support team. So it is hard, but the hardest part, at least for me, for being a caregiver, um, from my wife's perspective, is that it's hard to find good care. It's hard to find doctors that listen to you, and especially the stares. The stares, when people start staring, I'm like, you sh turn around. Like You want to say something, but you don't want to start any trouble. Because you don't want to get in a fight when you, when, in, in my case, I have my wife, I don't want to get in a fight. So, like she said, stop staring. So, that's pretty much my two cents because most of these questions I have actually answered them or I actually have talked about on, on other episodes. So, I really, really enjoyed doing this episode uh, with my wife. And I hope you guys understand what it's like to be in a situation like that when you have so many chronic illnesses. And and this is coming from somebody that actually has chronic illnesses, like has multiple chronic illnesses, not just one or two. This is like multiple, which is something that I have talked about before as well. So this is her perspective. And... Probably for what I have seen in your guys' questions and, and comments and all, all the feedback. A lot of you feel the same way, just like she mentioned. So it is very important to understand that perspective. That's that. This is the reason why I'm, I'm also very passionate about doing the podcast and, and telling people what it's like to be ill or facing an illness or facing something because I see it with my wife. I lived it myself, but seeing it... When it happens to my wife, it's hard. It breaks my heart, to be honest. It, 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 it's something that not a lot of people can handle. Because as you have heard, it's very hard. So when you decide or when life throws you into the arena, you have to become a, a caregiver. You have to not just be strong, but become strong. You have to get stronger mentally and physically because it takes a toll on you so those are my two cents do you have anything else that you want to add no thank you for letting me come 
and thank you for answering all these questions from our from our listeners and i go and i again guys i hope you guys are enjoying the podcast i i hope you guys are enjoying this uh all of these answers from my wife if you guys have more questions or anything like that you can uh, you can always send it to us on social media or on email and again thank you for all the feedback all the grow it's all thanks to you we're growing we're getting more listeners we we are getting more support which is incredible it's all thanks to you so don't forget to share like and subscribe so we can grow even more and follow us on tiktok instagram facebook and youtube and if you want to share your story or send us a question don't forget to send it to us at the spoonie and caregiver life at gmail.com and i'll leave you like always always take care of yourself and have a great day <laughs>